Day one, let's go fly. Okay, bring it. Who's up? When you pull the left brake, that right hand has to go up. If you pull an inch of right brake, the left hand goes up exactly one inch. Bam. Okay, think about a steering wheel. If you pull both sides, it ain't going to work. Okay, don't work. Pull one steering wheel, the other hand goes up exactly the same. The glider is falling to the right. You turn right, you walk right. Go for it. Hands up. There you go. Right brake, walk into the wind. Beautiful, beautiful. Look how perfectly easy that was. Very nice. Day number two of super training here, guys. First and biggest thing that a lot of people do that they do wrong is they fight against instead of going with. When flying a paraglider, a paramotor, it's important that you act as one. You kind of dance with it. You flow like water. If it starts to go this way, you smoothly go with it. It's never a battle, it's never a fight. You want to go with the glider. You want to be one with the glider. If you'll ever watch someone, they're out of control, and they're pumping brakes and stuff, it's just not right. You're out of control, you're squirrely, and you're causing disruptions in the lift of that glider that aren't supposed to be there. Smooth. Calm, controlled motions at all times. No matter what it is that you're doing, never fight against, always go with. Because you can never force, one thing about paragliders people might not realize, you can never force the glider to do anything. Like if you try and force the glider to turn or to go to a certain direction, it's not gonna work. In the sky, what happens if you force it is you could potentially spin it or stall it, depending on how hard you try, or cause yourself to twist up. And so you never want to try and force a glider to do anything. You always want to go with the glider. Work the glider into whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like I can't just force this glider to come up right now. Well, I thought I have to go with it. I have to let it do its thing. I gotta dance with my partner. The glider's my partner. If it's going that way, I need it to come back up. I gotta do a move. I gotta walk under it. I gotta lean. I gotta pull brake. I gotta let it come back up can't just force it back up. Notice how gentle I am on these brakes. I'm not just jerking, I'm not stuffing, I'm not yanking. If it comes down, I just move with it. Apply the brake, ease up with the one I'm not using, and it comes back above me. If it starts to come down this way, I just move with it smoothly. It is never a uh, kind of thing. If you're doing that, if you're out of control like that, you're not gonna get it. It's not gonna stay in control, you will lose it at that point. Very good. You imagine you have a cup of water on your head. Don't spill it as you walk. Now, build your wall. Do you know what the wall is? That? Yes, but you want it to be flat. So walk to the high side of the wall until the whole thing kind of flattens out. There you go, there you go. That's good, that's good, right there. So you can't put any pressure on A's till you're ready to fly. No muscle, it's all finesse. It is all finesse. There is no muscle to it. Day number three, we're in store for some more kiting. YouTube, it is Trevor here. We've got Super John right here. John is on his day three, his third day of training. Now today I've been working with John a little bit on the biggest thing every paramotor pilot can really learn from. And that is to relax 99% of the time. Maybe not 99% of the time, but most of the time you're causing the problem. You're causing the struggle by overreacting. If you just calm down and relax, most of the time the problem goes away. The more calm you can be, the more calm the glider will be. I always think the two are connected. You and the glider are always connected. If you're tense, the glider responds to that tension. If you're calm, the glider too will be calm. Sometimes we just have to take our time. We gotta let the glider do what the glider wants. We gotta listen. We are one. Okay, turn a little further. Turn a little further. Beautiful. Now just walk straight. Just walk straight. Perfect. Right break. Look at that. We have to listen to the glider. Yeah. It's telling you what it wants. You just gotta respond with it. Yeah. Right? Because you could just turn your brain off, dude, and talk to me and stand there and do nothing, and that glider's gonna fly. Mm. Every time I try and divert my attention, I. <laughs> well, relax. Divert attention and just relax. Like, you know how to. It's going to the right. You just pull a little right brake, right? Yeah. You feel it kind of going to the right. Okay, now you look at it, right? Barely did anything, right? You're causing those problems. Easy on those brakes. No reason to get heavy into them. You don't need a lot, dude. Right? No reason to work harder. We need to. Look, we didn't need to move. 
We didn't need to move that. You're making it more than it is. Ease into that right. Yeah, man. And just a little shoulder and hip. Yeah, there you go. Didn't need anything more than that. Just a little shoulder. Boom. It ain't hard. No. You make no, it hard.